good day. So last uh, from the previous video about Modula, I've discussed about the operation itself and the key concepts and principles of Modula and the modular operator. And for today, for today, let us have the application of modular arithmetic. So we have application of modular arithmetic. Also, um, I must say application of modulo. Okay, so the application of modulo, um, it is commonly used if you want to know who, uh, or if you are going to ask yourself, what time is it after 72 hours? What time is it 77 hours ago? What will be the day after 726 days? Or what is the day last June 7, 1764? Or what will be the day on January 9, 19, or January 9, 2079? So we will be applying the modular arithmetic in the um, different situations that I have discussed a while ago. So let us have this illustration. So you are very much familiar with that for a plus sign, you have addition. For subtraction, you have minus sign. Cross for multiplication and um, this sign for division. And let us have another operator. For circle, this is pertaining to hour or hours or us. And for rect uh, square, this is pertaining to day. Araw. So, if we have plus sign inside the circle, that will be um, after and um, we have later. If we have plus sign inside the circle and plus sign inside the square. And minus sign inside the circle and minus sign inside the square will be, the magic word will be ago. So take for example, 7 hours ago. Therefore, you will be using this because hours. 7 days ago. Therefore, we will be using this. This one, 12 hours after or after 12 hours. And this one is 7 days later. Okay, in order for you to understand it better, let us have this example. Example number one. Let us say that at the moment, the time is 3 a.m. What will be the time after... Let us start with a um, simple example. What will be the time after seven hours okay so if we are going to calculate this using our finger or using this method 3 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m 8 a.m 9 a.m 10 a.m therefore the answer will be 10 a.m what if you don't know um how to solve this using this kind of arithmetic we will be applying the operator symbol and the modulo okay First is, write the given time. The given is 3. Since the given, the magic word here is after, and we are pertaining to ours, after ours, therefore we will be using ours and after plus sign inside the circle. Plus 7. Because 7 hours is our given. 3, uh, after 7 hours, 3 plus 7 is 10. Then we will be applying modulo. 10 mod. What will be the modulus that we are going to use? If in days, we have 7 modulus. If in 4 hours, we will be using 12 modulus. Why? Because we use this kind of um, clock. Um, 12, 3, 6, 9, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. We are using this clock or this representation to identify the time. Okay? Therefore, our modulus will be 12. Therefore, we'll be applying 10 mod 
12. You will use modulus of 12 for time. 10 mod 12. Since 10 is less than 12, 10 is less than 12, or less than the modulus 12, the result or the remainder, the remainder will be 10. Okay. So, um, there, um, 10 modulus of 12, wala tayo di, there is no quotient. There is no quotient because 10 is less than 12. Therefore, you will copy the given time, AM. Okay? So, is there any question? I hope so. Or, if you are going to have this kind of illustration, 3 AM after 7 hours, hindi pa papasok dun sa 12 hours, therefore, do not change the anti-meridian or the prime meridian. So, let us continue. What if the given or the question is for number 2, we have, um, right now is 11 p.m. What time is it after? What time is it? Um, let us say 32 hours later. What time is it? 32 hours later. So we have copy the given 11, then hours circle later we will be used plus sign and the given time is 32 hours therefore 11 plus 32 is we have 43 then apply modulus 30 43 mod 12 that will be um 30 um uh, 43 divided by 12 is 3 remainder. We have 12, 24, 36, 37, 38, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43. We have remainder of 7. Therefore, the result will be 7 o'clock. And what, what will be our, uh, what will be um, our, um, anti is it anti-meridian or prime meridian? That will be the question. So let us find out. So 43 mod 12, we have the remainder, uh, we have quotient 3. Uh, our quotient is 43 divided by 12 is 3, remainder 7. Therefore, we have 3 times na umikot sa 12 hours. Okay? So, meaning to say, from 11 p.m. after 12 hour, hours, it will become 11 a.m. After 12 hours, it will become 11 p.m. After Third, 12 hours, it will become 11 a.m. again. And from 12, um, from this time, we have remainder of 7. Therefore, 11 o'clock a.m., remainder of 7, this will be a.m. Because um, 7 or a.m. is um, closer than the third time for the clock of 12 hours. Okay? So, let us have another example. What if we have this example? Let us have, at the moment, is 9 a.m. So, what will be the time Seventy-two, or let us have seventy-one hours ago. Okay, we have seventy-one hours ago. Therefore, given time is nine ago minus hours circle. We have the given time is seventy-one. Nine minus seventy-one. That will be negative. 62, right? 9 minus 71. Then after that, you will add 12 until you get positive. Negative 62 plus 12, we have negative 50. It's still negative. Negative 50 plus 12, we have 38. It's negative 38. It's still negative. Negative 38 plus 12, we have negative 26. Then it's still negative. Negative 26 plus 12, we have negative 14. It's still negative. 
negative 14 plus 12 is equal to negative 2. It's still negative. And negative 2 plus 12 is equal to 10. Now, positive. Therefore, we can say that negative 62 mod 12 is equal to 10. Is it AM or PM? Let us find out. We have how many 12s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 12s. Therefore, we can say that this will be AM after 12 hours. It will become PM, AM, PM, AM, PM, AM. Therefore, the time will be 10 o'clock AM. So let us have another example, but this time let us use square. Okay. Let us say that today is Thursday. Actually, today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, and the question is, what will be the day after... Let us have um, 12 days. Okay? What will be the day after 12 days? Can you see my, my writing? No, I will get red book marker. Okay. So Thursday, what will be the day after 12 days? Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have four for Thursday. Then, day, square, after plus, given day is 12, 4 plus 12 is 16. Then now, our modulus will not be 12. Since we are pertaining today, the modulus will be 7 because there are 7 days in one way. Mod 7. Therefore, 6 mod 7 is 8, 16 mod 7 is equal to 2. And 2 is pertaining or associated with Monday, Tuesday or equal to Tuesday. Therefore, we can say that after 12 days, from Thursday, after 12 days, it will be Tuesday. Let us check. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And Tuesday is the correct answer. Same process with the R's. If you have a go, use um, square and minus sign. That will be the application of modulus for this operator. Let us now proceed with another application of modulo. Um, way back 1885, or 1888, if I'm not mistaken, um, 17th century, um, there was a mathematician, German mathematician, named um, Christian Johannes Seeler. So we have Christian Johannes Seeler. So we will be applying the Seeler's rule for finding the day of the day, or the year, or the given day. So, Christian Sealers created Sealers' rule of computing the day of the day, uh, uh, the day of the given day. So, let us say, right now is, um, right now is November 19, 2020, and today is Thursday. So, let us use the formula of Sealer's rule and let us check if Thursday is the correct answer okay so we will be using the formula F is equal to K plus 13 M minus 1 divided by 5 plus D plus D over 4 plus C over 4 minus 2 C this will be our formula F is equal to K plus the quantity 13 minus 1 divides by 5 added by D added by D over 4 added by the quotient of C and 4 minus 2C wherein F is the given day or the day that we are looking for K is for uh, date M is for the month and don't forget since you are using Sealer's rule <clears throat> rule number 1 will be for month we have March will be 1 
April will be 2, so and so forth, January will be 12. Therefore, we have March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, three, February. February will be 12, brother. Okay? February will be 12. Okay, so let us have now D. D is the first first two um, digits uh, last two digits of the decade. Last two digits of the decade. And let's see B the first two digit of the of the century. Okay. So again, case for the day, month is twelve is M, and don't forget March is for one, going to February is equal to twelve. Then D is the last two digit of the I <laughs> sorry, sorry, the man. Last two digits of the decade and C is the first two digits of the century. Now, um, let us substitute all the given value. K, November 19 will be 19. Let us check if the correct answer is Thursday. Plus 13 times month is November. Gen uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. 9 minus 1. Divides by 5 plus D, last two digits, 20, plus D, last two digits, 20 divides by 4, plus first two digits of the century, 20 divides by 4 minus 2 times the century, 20. Now, we have 19 plus 13 times 9 is 117. Minus 1 will, uh, 13 times 9 will be, um, 117 minus 1, we have 116. Divides by 5, plus 20, plus 20 divides by 4 is 5. Plus 20 divides by 4 is 5. Minus 2 times 20 is 40. 19 plus 116 divided by 5 is 23.2. Plus 20 plus 5 plus 5 is 10 minus 40. And another rule. If you will encounter decimal, rule number 2, disregard the numbers after the decimal point. Do not do the process of rounding up. For Sealer's formula or Sealer's rule, 2.73 will be equal to 2. Disregard the number after the decimal point. 2.21 is equal to 2. Disregard the number after decimal point. Do not apply the rounding up. Therefore, we have 19 plus 23 plus 20 plus 10 is 30 minus 40 is negative 10. Then we have 19 plus 23 is 42. Minus 10, we have 32. Therefore, the value of F is 32. And the last will be, the last method is, take the value of F, mod our, how, um, since we are looking for the day, there are 7 days in one week, therefore the modulus will be 7. And um, therefore we have our F is 32 mod 7. What is 32 divides by 7? That will be 4 because we have 7, 14, 20, 21, and um, 28. 29, 30, 31, 30. Therefore, 30, 32 divides by 7 is 4. Remainder 4. Therefore, the result is 4. Then count Monday for 1, Tuesday 2, Wednesday 3, and Thursday 4. Therefore, the day is Thursday. And we got the same answer. 
Just simply apply this formula if you want to know the day of the given day. And for your assignment, try to find the day of your birthday and don't forget to um, show the solution and just send it to our group chat, okay? So, I, I know that you have question regarding what will happen if there is a flip year about century, okay? So, um, using this formula of Sealer's formula, the leap year and some other properties or idea of year was already taken consideration. Therefore, no need to think of um, um, what will happen if, if, if there is leap year. What will happen if there's no leap year? What will happen if there is um, century like 2000? Okay? Or um, 1000 or 1900s. So all of them were taken into consideration already. That's the reason why you use here the process for, for removing the decimal or the numbers after decimal point. And that is the process of applying the integral and removing the, um, the numbers after decimal point. And um, so the reason why March is equal to 1, not January is equal to 1, because um, Sealer taken cons uh, took already the idea of leap year here. So just simply use this formula, f is equal to k plus the quantity 13m minus 1 divides by 5 plus d plus d over 4 plus c over 4 minus 2c. I hope that you, learn, that you learned something today. And um, don't forget that there is um, our life is not only about addition subtraction, it's not only about multiplication division, you have to look deeper and you have to study more about mathematics. And it's, there are different operators like modular operator. That would be all and God bless you all.